In my video on the many different sounds of T, I mentioned the drop T, where in certain words we don't pronounce the T in order to improve the rhythm of the overall sentence. In today's video, I'll be giving you some examples and patterns of where and how to pronounce the dropped T so that you can improve your accent and understand native English speakers a little bit better. First off, it's important to note that there are some words that always have the drop T, without exception. These include words like listen. We would never say listen, it's always listen, dropping it completely. However, the majority of drop T words occur in words that can either drop the T or keep the T depending on whether or not you're giving that word emphasis in the sentence. For example, we're going to do Secret Santa this year. I dropped the T in this example for Santa because I wasn't really drawing attention to that word in particular. In a different sentence, if I were to provide emphasis on that word, I would keep the T. Oh look, there's Santa. In all of these cases, the drop T occurs in unstressed syllables. Let's get started on the patterns of where to find the dropped T. First off, in the grouping where the dropped T happens consistently, this happens in words ending in S-T-E-N and S-T-L-E, as in moisten or castle. Again, these are always dropped without exception. The second grouping of words where the T is optionally dropped have the dropped T after N, as in center or advantage, and in between consonant clusters. This could be either within words or between words, as in mostly and first thing. Listen closely, I'm not pronouncing that T in between those words there. First thing. This actually happens with a few other consonant clusters as well. For example, the P is dropped in unkempt and the D is dropped in friendship. Now let's get started practicing the drop T in words and in sentences. We'll start with the first grouping where the T is consistently dropped in words ending in S-T-L-E and S-T-E-N. Listen, hasten, moisten, glisten, fasten, wrestle, castle, hustle, bristle, jostle. Now on to the drop T in unstressed words and sentences. Drop the T after N. Identity, accounting, entertaining, advantage, Printer, enter, identify, internet, painting, international. Drop the T in between consonants within words. Projects, mostly, restless, software, adapts. Drop the T in between consonants between words. Best mom, fast car, fact that, kept my, first thing. Now let's try some sentences. Listening more impacts how others hear you. The printer acts funny sometimes. I love to watch softball on the internet. Take advantage of your free time. The best thing about winter is the snow. I'm mostly concerned about the costliness. Can you help me lift this, please? I kept my identity secret to surprise them. All right, now here are some examples where the T is kept in one sentence and then dropped in the same sentence, depending on whether or not we're giving emphasis to that word. She's the best person for the job. Stressed. She's the best person for the job. That painting is beautiful. Stressed. That painting is beautiful. These rules are some good guidelines to help you figure out where to drop the T and how to drop it. But just like many patterns in American pronunciation, they have their exceptions. So that's why it's a good idea to work with an accent coach, like myself, in order to find those exceptions through evaluation and controlled practice. Please check the link in the description for a worksheet with all these words and sentences and extra information. And please leave your comments below if you have any questions or suggestions.